Friday night. Not many people here. About seven or something like that. Off up the skirred bow. Back down in about an hour. Whenever I do this, I always forget just how uh, tough the first bit is. Especially when you go at it a bit too quickly. So, <coughs> as per usual, when they go enough bits, I'm puffing a bit and slowing down. Conveniently placed wet bench. It's also been lashing down this morning. And consequently, said path is quite slippery. So, it's a watch what's going on on the way down, which is down there. There we go. Heading towards a steep bit. Okay, towards the end of the forest. And Been quite warm now. There's uh, lots of steep bits of climbing stuff up here. There. Oh, and it's looking like it's misty. Oops. I hope it's just misty in the woods. And the cloud doesn't come down too much. I was looking forward to seeing if we could take some shots of the sunset. I have to be dead careful coming down here. Because this is slippery. Little glimpse in the direction of Landau with other and more slippery steps. Need two hands. Coming up to the last little push over the top. If that cloud breaks a bit, I might catch a sunset over the Sugarloaf. This is the last little bit 
Oh, this is the bit that fools you. And you hit those rocks at the top, and suddenly you discover there's another little bit to go again. And I got a sneaking suspicion there's another little bit to go again. I was only up here a couple of weeks ago. But before that, it was months. Well, no, it was years. I just passed on the way down by a horribly fit looking family whose little kid comes running past going, We did it now last week. I thought, oh, excellent. That's your flying lesson. Well, it's too tight to throw in. Right. Just as you get to these stones, there's a little bit on the side, and it's all the way over there. Right in the distance. Well, it's mostly flat to get to the trick point. Obviously, that's complete bollocks, because if you're not standing on the trick point, you're not at the highest point. It's flattish. And the cloud won't quite break over the sugar dove. Right, back to it. Wind's starting to get up a bit. Better get a bit of a shift on. Looks good. I'm gonna stop and get to the trick point. Here we approach. Trick point. Again, more England Shire. There we are. Back down the spine of the skirid and around to the sugar dove with the sun starting to go down in the, in the distance. Oh, it's really cracking up here again. I gotta say, I've been pretty lucky with weather. At some point, I'm gonna come up here when it's dry and gonna go off the edge there. But it is very, very steep going down there. And not to be done when it's wet and grassy, which it is today. Sheep don't seem to be bothered, mind you. 
they're quite happy to check themselves off. Only that cloud would grow a little bit. That'd be a fantastic shot in there. Anyway, I think it is flipping windy up here. And I'm gonna stay up here for a little bit and have a banana and wait to see what the sun set in over Skirid Vow. Sorry, over Sugarloaf and Penash Vow. Sunset over the Sugarloaf on the Skirid. I might have to stand and stay up here till the sun just nips off the mountain there. BOBs. Have a look at what you're missing tonight, guys. That is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Gosh. It doesn't get much better, this, I'm afraid. Of it. Well, it does when you get back down and you have a beer afterwards. Then it gets better. But it's pretty flipping good up here. down. I'm sure there's a cold beer to be drunk somewhere. Oh, this is pretty bloody magic. Anyway, pick up my rubbish. Through the forest, and it is mighty slippy down there because the wind hasn't blown the top dry. So it's going to be dark, wet, and muddy. <laughs> and there are little spikes of metal that stick out the ground where the steps have been worn away. So it's not somewhere that you want to be going down in the pitch black. taking so many shots <laughs> and so many videos so rest away not far from the rest
this is the bottom of a sugar roof. Not a sugar roof, a skirid. That's looking out onto Abdeveni. And that's the last of the sunset. And that's me having sweated absolute buckets coming down there. It was pitch black. I don't use my phone camera to spot the mud and take tiny little steps to stop from falling flat on my ass. Which ah, was an interesting experience again. I keep doing this thing, this stuff. Anyway, nearly back of the car, about two, 250 meters left. And I've got some stunning photographs, I think. They look, gonna look brilliant. And that's looking back up over my shoulder to start the skirid. And I need to get in now. So, time to stop. And there we go. Back to the car. Oh, that was a bit of a jolt on a Friday night. <sighs> Worth it for the views. <sighs> and let's find those keys. <sighs> oh, and there is last of the sun on the sugar loaf.